Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to the kitchen here at uh, New Traditions Homestead. My name is Dan Daniels and I'm going to do a little bit of TikTok talking with you. Um, a subtle homesteader to homesteader warning about ticks in the wintertime. That's why it's called TikTok. I was out working on my woods uh, in December. It's now February 3rd. But I was out work, working in my woods in December in the winter time. It's very, very cold, um, sub-zero, teens, single digits, very cold. Uh, clearing a honeysuckle on my tractor, walking through the woods, pulling stuff down, walking through the woods, hunting, um, doing all sorts of things on our property uh, in December and January. And I got bit by something in the upper part of my back. And I couldn't see it. I could feel that there was kind of an itchy thing, but I couldn't see it. Um, so I ignored it because I'm a man. Uh, time went on, still didn't see anything, didn't really feel anything. Uh, but eventually saw something by using a mirror that was attached to my back. And I thought maybe it was a, a mole or a skin tag. Um, you know, that's just what I, what I was thinking. Never had the thought that it was a tick because it's winter time and it's been cold. Um, time went on. The, the thing on the, the high part of my back got a little bit bigger and uh, just again, I was getting, getting prepared to go in and see a, a dermatologist and maybe have it you know frozen off if it was a mole or a skin tag or something like that. No pain, nothing, nothing, uh, no symptoms of a Lyme disease at all. Finally, my wife did some investigation, saw it, grabbed a hold of it very gingerly and was able to pull it off and it resisted because it was attached. So it was definitely, once we got it off, it was definitely a tick. Um, again, no, none of the big circular targets around the bite, no fatigue, no, no swelling, no lymph nodes, no um, um, fever, no chills, nothing, no symptoms, the typical symptoms of Lyme disease. See anything? We had two options. We could do a blood test and um, wait about six to eight weeks for the results of the blood test. That didn't make a lot of sense to me. Or just start me on a precautionary uh, antibiotic, which is what we decided to do. So, so we're setting up, um, started taking doxycycline, which is an antibiotic that I take twice a day. That uh, is again precautionary because there's been no symptoms at all of Lyme disease. But I just want to be sure that there there's nothing inside my body that's going to do anything weird. Just wanted to do a precautionary tale to you all, warn everybody that's out doing fences, that's out clearing property because you can get your tractor in, out there because it's frozen. Um, if you're hunting, whatever you're doing out in the woods, be very careful. Check your body. Um, you can't do it tick tock enough about this thing. We, we need to be thinking all the time as homesteaders the problems that we can run into. And Lyme disease would put a homesteader down for months because of the fatigue and the, the joint pain and stuff like that. So we need to be um, vigilant about things like this. There's been no symptoms, but we want to be sure. And I caution you all, as I know you're doing the same thing that we're doing around here, and maybe some of you live in tick infested areas, but you think it's winter time, so there's no ticks. So just be careful. All right, that's that's about it. That's the end of this TikTok. Just a um, a caution, a warning from one homesteader to another. Anyway, just be be warned. Be careful. Um, yeah, that's the end of this TikTok. All right, Lord bless you all.